Hi, I'm George Pearson, and in this video we'll be creating this Photoshop Kaleidoscope image. If you enjoy this video, make sure that you click the like button and also subscribe to my channel. If you want to learn a lot more about Photoshop, how to use Photoshop, be sure to take a look at my complete training, and you'll find links for that in the description. Okay, let's get to it. This Photoshop kaleidoscope image looks very complex, but it's actually quite easy to do. It's simply a lot of layer duplication and some blend mode stuff and some rotation in there. All right, let's see how this is done. I'll just close this out and let's open up our beginning image. And what I used is this hot air balloon picture. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to get this cropped down to a square format. So let's go to the crop tool and I have this set at one to one or square right there. You can see there's the square crop and then let's just move the photograph inside so that the balloon is basically centered inside of the image and then hit the check mark or the enter key to set that in place. So there's our crop. Let's now take this layer and duplicate it. Drag it down to the new layer button. There we are. Duplication. Before we go any further, I'm just going to increase our size here as well fit on screen. That's a bit better. Okay, now let's flip this horizontal, left to right. Go up to the Edit menu, come down to Transform, and flip horizontal. There we are. Let's now blend this into the layer underneath, and we'll use the Darken Blend Mode. There we go. Good. Okay, next step. We now want to merge these two layers onto a new layer. And you can do that with the Special Keyboard Shortcut, Control, Shift, Alt, and E. That merges those to a new layer right here. Let's now flip this layer vertically. So, Edit, Transform, Flip Vertical. It's now upside down. And then let's blend this with the layers below. And that's with that Dark and Blend mode. Okay, you can see how we're going to be approaching this now, simply a matter of these copies. Now, at this point, we've done our 90-degree rotation. This was a 180, which is two 90s. This was another 90-degree rotation in there. We're now going to cut this in half and do 45-degree rotations. So, our first step is, again, that keyboard shortcut. Control, Shift, Alt, E. That merges all of that into a new layer up here. Let's rotate this layer. Now the easy way to do this, you can either go up here to Edit, come down to Transform, come down to Rotate, or just use the Control-T keyboard shortcut, and that brings up the control handles in here, Transform handles, and let's set the rotation here to 45 degrees. There goes a little 45 degree rotation, check that OK, and let's set our blend mode again to Darken. So there's our first pass on this. Let's now do the same thing one more time. Control Shift Alt E duplicates all of this to a new layer up here. There we go. All that duplicate to a new layer. Let's rotate this one around. Same thing. Control T keyboard shortcut. Set our angle to 45 degrees. Choose OK. Set the mode to darken. There we go. Let's now take this layer three. And instead of doing the merge all this stuff to a new layer, let's take this layer, layer 3, and drag it down to the new layer button right there, making a copy of that layer. Let's now rotate this layer. So again, that's the Control-T keyboard shortcut. And we'll rotate this by 45 degrees. There we go. And click on the check mark. And there is the basic kaleidoscope. We can now merge this whole thing together to a new layer. So again, the same thing again, Control, Shift, Alt, and the E key. There's our full merge. You can now hide all of this stuff. We're done with all of those layers. Everything's now in this one layer. Now we can brighten the image up. So we'll add some adjustment layers in here. Go up to the Layer menu, New Adjustment Layer, and Levels. And then let's just clip this to that layer. There we are. Now I want to bring the 
brightness of the whole image up and that's bringing the midtone over here towards the left brightens that up let's bring our darks back in again by pulling the left side here in and let's pull the whites in as well and by controlling the, the positions here of these you can really brighten your image up a lot until you get just the look that you want there we go looks pretty good nice and bright I kind of like that and choose OK. Let's now go one step further on this and add a little more brightness to the image. And we'll add a, another adjustment layer. So it's layer, new adjustment layer. This time let's do hue saturation. And again, I'll clip this layer right there. Choose OK. And take the saturation level and pull this all the way to the right. So this really brings up the greens in here, some of those colors. So let's go clear to the right really brightens that stuff up. You can go a little lighter if you want to on the lightness or darker. It's up to you. I think a little lighter is kind of nice right now, about another plus four, or plus five, just a little brighter. And choose OK. And there we go. There is your Photoshop kaleidoscope effect. Now, if you want to go crazy on this, you can do that. You can do a lot more to this one. Let me just show you how you can do that. Let's take this layer down here. We'll copy this layer down. New layer. Drag that above the other two layers. Let's now resize this layer. We need the Control T keyboard shortcut again. There we are. Brings up our transform adjustments at the top here. Give your width and your height, W and H. Click on the little link in between. So these are now linked together. And let's set this to 70%. There we go, it just kind of shrinks that down. Choose OK. If you want, you can rotate at this point as well. Let's do the Control T again. I'll just change the rotation here one more time to 45 degrees. Kind of like that diamond shape in there. And now let's do an adjustment layer on this. So layer, new adjustment layer. Hue saturation, let's go ahead and clip that. And let's just find a different color in here. So you pull this around and get all kinds of different strange coloration things happening. Maybe kind of a, a green thing in there could be kind of fun like that. There we go. You can play with your saturation as well. Go full saturation on that. And again, we can do a levels adjustment on this to really push things up. So again, this layer, new adjustment layer, and levels. And then clip that again, choose OK. And we'll just brighten that up and bring in our darks again and bring in our lights again to really make the colors real vibrant. There we go. So kind of an extra credit up here to really make this thing very complex. You don't have to go that far. You can just leave it at this setting down below here, which works out fine as well. So there it is with that new addition. And there it is with the original, just one layer. And this is that new duplication on top of that. So there we go. That is how to do the Photoshop Kaleidoscope. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com.